The cast of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills has kept us entertained for years with a succession of lavish parties, wild cat fights, and crazy girls' trips around the globe. But even though they may be living large on TV, do they really have the cash to back it up? Here's what Yolanda Hadid, as well as some of the other housewives, have in the bank. All of the real housewives are unique in their own ways, but Yolanda Hadid just might be the most fascinating of all. The hilariously frank Dutch model and Lyme disease survivor was known for telling it like it is, or how she thought it was. In third grade, remember I used to wear basketball clothes to school every day? I thought that my daughter was... Uh... Lesbian. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Hadid is currently worth around $45 million, having pulled in roughly $100,000 per season. She also banked a massive divorce settlement from her first husband, Mohammed Hadid. Her haul included two properties and a huge $3.6 million cash payout. Likewise, her second divorce from Grammy-winning producer David Foster banked her another undisclosed settlement, which was likely massive. Yolanda is no stranger to the finer things in life, but she claims most of her money goes to wellness products. She told Time, I'm eager to learn every day and try new things. That's really a big part of my life, and that's the only place I like to spend money. But not everyone in Beverly Hills is spending their fortune on things like bone broth. Lisa Rinna isn't famous purely because of her housewife status. Prior to popping up as the other Lisa, she was well known as a soap star, appearing early on Days of Our Lives and Melrose Place. Rinna's lengthy TV career netted her the majority of an estimated $8 million fortune per celebrity net worth. She also rakes in extra dough writing books and hawking goods on QVC. I'll do anything to make a buck. I don't say no very much, I say yes. Upon joining the Real Housewives cast in season six, Rinna was reportedly pulling in around $450,000 per season, according to Radar Online. But she told Andy Cohen that the reason she took a back seat during season eight was because longtime cast members Lisa Vanderpump and Kyle Richards were actually making more money than she was. To that, Cohen replied, Housewives is a show that the longer you're on it, the more you make, is the bottom line. But sadly, she's probably the only Lisa we'll be seeing on the show in the near future. Okay, let's get started. It's hard to imagine anyone more classically wealthy than Lisa Vanderpump. According to Celebrity Net Worth, LVP is worth a whopping $75 million, and she earned $500,000 per season of Housewives. Fans of her spin-off Bravo show, Vanderpump Rules, know the Brit also owns a hot night spot called Sir in West Hollywood, along with several other local businesses. The Queen of Diamonds always has an ace up her sleeve. LVP clearly appreciates the finer things in life, with Bustle hilariously listing the 14 most opulent items in her home, including a mini house for her mini horses. Vanderpump revealed to InStyle that her parents were actually very frugal, so she values money and doesn't even own a credit card. She said, Money is freedom. It gives you the power as a woman to say that you come and go when you want to. And, you know, let me pick up this dinner bill. Lisa picked up her final housewife's check when she left the show in 2000. Ever since she arrived in Beverly Hills for season 7, Dorit Kemsley has dusted up the drama while she and her husband PK had no problem flaunting their wealth. I need to have fashion, 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 fashion oozing out of me. But off-screen, it's a different story. Although celebrity net worth puts Kemsley's fortune at $50 million, she and PK suffered some very public financial strife. According to The Blast, PK owed $1.2 million in an unpaid loan, and he separately owed the Bellagio Casino $3.6 million. The wealthy couple then had trouble selling their mansion, slashing the price in early 2018, according to Page Six. Hey, at least they can still ride around in Dorit's road Gold Bentley. You can basically count on a yes for anything you ask me for your lifetime. The self-described most normal Real Housewives star is Teddy Mellencamp, daughter of music legend John Cougar Mellencamp, who's worth an estimated $25 million himself. Teddy's likely not shopping for clothes at Target, but she's not exactly Lisa Vanderpump either. I'm like a down-home chick. Bustle dug into Mellencamp's finances, noting she made around $60,000 a year as a talent agent before transitioning into her current role as an accountability coach, which nets her around $35 to $100 
$1,000 an hour. These girls got more money to spend than I'm willing to. Meanwhile, her husband Edwin is founder and CEO of Skyline Security Management, Inc., so he's most likely making good money. Romper also notes that Mellencamp earns a decent amount from her sponsored Instagram posts. This might explain why her family home is slightly more modest than her castmates. Even if she did land a decent amount of cash from her famous dad, it's reasonable to assume Mellencamp actually is as normal as she claims to be on the show. But fans know there can only be one OG when it comes to keeping your head out of the clouds in Beverly Hills. Kyle Richards was earning money almost as soon as she could walk, acting in film and TV alongside her sister Kim. That lifelong successful career has netted Richards an estimated fortune of around $50 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth, along with a few hundred thousand per housewife season. Aside from acting, Richards also has her own boutique store, Kyle by Aileen 2, with locations in LA and New York. Richards also produced the first and only season of American Woman, which was loosely based on the life of her single mother. My mom was very strict, and we were we were supposed to be perfect, and like I try not to do that to my kids. Richards revealed that her mom taught her daughters to make their own money, telling Variety, she taught us to be strong and independent and not have to need a man for anything. Still, it probably doesn't hurt that Richards is married to highly successful real estate agent Mauricio Umansky, whose own net worth is estimated at around $40 million. On the flip side, Kyle's sister Kim is living quite a different story. In 2019, Kyle told Variety that having Kim on the show was an automatic opening to things you may not really want out there. I'm so I'm done with you back. and your f***ing lies. I'm sorry you see it that way. No, everybody sees it that way. If you're your closest friends. The elder Richard sister had well-publicized issues with addiction, with her struggle featured on the show until she formally left after season five. There's some disparity about how much she's actually worth, with Born Rich claiming $2 million and Celebrity Net Worth putting the figure much lower at $100,000. Richards made most of her fortune acting as a young kid, and she was also netting around $100,000 per season with Bravo. Richards also pulls in significant alimony, according to Bustle. Still, regardless of the money, her focus is on sobriety. Is there a special somebody in your life right now? Yeah, me. You know, it took me 55 years. To find me. Richard says she won't rule out returning to the show, but she told People magazine, I'm really at a peaceful place in my life, being a mom and a grandmother. Considering that she quite literally has a song about how expensive it is to be her, it's not surprising to learn that club pop diva Erica Jane Girardi is positively rolling in it. I bet everybody wishes they could be Erica Jane. I think every woman has a little bit of Erica Jane inside of her. She's just dying to get out. Celebrity Net Worth puts her estimated earnings to date at $5 million following a record number of hit songs, while her husband Tom Girardi's worth sits around $30 million. Girardi claims her lifestyle all adds up, revealing to Wendy Williams. If you want to look good, it's hair, it's makeup, it's wardrobe. Yes. And then those people that help facilitate that, they're yeah. not cheap. Erica famously came from nothing, according to her memoir, so if anybody understands the value of money, it's Erica. Not everybody ends up here, you know what I mean? So you always have to remember where you started from. Even so, she admitted that her lavish lifestyle gets dull sometimes, telling People magazine, There are only so many material things you can have before it becomes boring. There are only so many dinners, so many things you can buy. I've worked very hard for everything I've ever had, and I don't regret anything. I've made it. I'm at Vogue, and I'm, I'm an in a glue. Just when we thought the show couldn't get any crazier, Denise Richards joined the cast for season 9. My problem with the tabloids, my real life is so much juicier. Obviously a huge film and TV star, Celebrity Net Worth puts her value at a not-too-shabby $12 million, with Celebrity Insider reporting that multiple unnamed sources claim she signed a $4 million contract to appear on the hit reality show. A source close to the star reportedly told the site she isn't earning nearly that much, but she's definitely banking something. The actress has struggled publicly with her divorce from Charlie Sheen, who, according to E! Online, claims he can't afford to pay child support due to his dwindling career. Richards herself was hit with a tax lien in early 2019 for an unpaid credit card bill totaling over $20,000, according to The Blast. And she also reportedly owes almost $50,000 to a Malibu boarding house where she keeps her horse. But she's not the only housewife whose devastating personal life has played out on screen.
Why do I feel like a storm is brewing? It's so typical in this crew. <laughs> Taylor Armstrong was put through the ringer during her tenure on Housewives, and ever since, she's been spending time focusing on herself. Celebrity net worth puts her wealth at $1.5 million, noting Armstrong was picking up about $175,000 per season on the show. The reality star acquired her wealth via her marriage to late husband and venture capitalist Russell Armstrong, and she's also a successful businesswoman in her own right. I love how I'm getting the Forbes magazine press release that you invested $10 million but a damning 2012 report from Jezebel pulled the curtain back on the Armstrongs' supposedly lavish lifestyle. After her husband died, Taylor was left with a $1.5 million lawsuit, and according to court documents, she tried to pay it off using fake Birkin bags. The outlet also noted the couple didn't actually own any real estate, they rented the home featured on the show, and that her pricey engagement ring was used as part of the settlement. Keeping up with the lifestyle in Beverly Hills requires an extraordinary amount of money." The Housewives alum went on to write a book about her struggle with domestic violence and now dedicates her time to speaking on the cause. And then there's the woman who's famously used her platform to drag everyone through the mud. There are few housewives more infamous than Brandy Glanville. Hey guys, I'm drinking wine and no one could say a damn thing. She might not have appeared on the show since season five when she clashed with just about everybody, but the model and reality star is still worth a pretty penny. I'm not a bully. If I was a bully, I would have knocked your teeth out by now. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Glanville banked about $2 million and was earning around $175,000 per season of the show. However, this figure is disputed by the richest, who puts her at $4.7 million and the Gazette Review, which claims that she's only worth around $1 million. What the f are you talking about? Regardless, she's definitely doing okay. Aside from modeling and various reality TV appearances, Glanville wrote a New York Times best-selling memoir called Drinking and Tweeting and other brandy blunders. Although she's apparently moved on from Real Housewives, Glanville teased a comeback in December 2018 in an interview with Life & Style, admitting, "...I miss the trips and the camaraderie. You're basically getting paid to have a party." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.